What's up, guys? Coach Manny, Coach Wade here. This is week two of our CrossFit Loveland pull-up progression that we got. First thing that we're gonna do today is we're gonna work on wall slides. This is gonna help with our shoulder mobility. So Coach Wade is gonna go up against the wall. What he's going to do is he's gonna slightly bend the knees. You don't want any space behind your back. So what he wants to do is take his hips and he wants to rotate them up, squeezing the glutes and getting that back nice and flat. He's gonna start with his arms in a touchdown position here. And then he's just gonna reach those arms up as high as he can. Even if it comes off the wall, that is fine. You just wanna use that wall sort of as a point of reference for you guys to keep those shoulders back. So we're gonna come down. You are gonna give me a total of 10 wall slides. So next piece, after you're done with your 10 wall slides, you're gonna come over here to the floor. You are going to give me 10 reps of your Y's, T's, and W's. So what this looks like, Coach Wade is face flat on the floor. He's putting his arms in a Y position. He's just gonna elevate his hands using the back of his shoulders, hold it for a brief second, and then bring it back down, okay? You wanna make sure this is a nice controlled motion. You aren't trying to flap like a bird that's trying to fly off the ground. Then he's gonna bring his arms off to the side like a T and do the same exact thing, thumbs up, trying to touch the ceiling, really focusing on controlling and engaging back here. The last thing that he is going to do is he's going to make a W. So your arms, elbows are gonna be slightly lower than the shoulders. Again, thumbs up, coming up. Really work on pulling these shoulder blades together and holding nice and tight. All right, guys, so after we are done working on our shoulder mobility and getting our shoulders nice and warmed up, now it's time to work on some technique stuff. So we're gonna go through the next segment for five rounds. The first thing, we are back on the bar and we're gonna do scat pull-ups. Now we're gonna do about five to seven scat pull-ups, but now we're gonna increase the hold at the top. So Coach Wade is gonna come up, hold for about five to seven seconds, and then come down, and he's gonna come up again. Making sure, guys, you're staying nice and tight in the glutes, pointing the toes down, creating tension throughout the entire body. Holding this position and working on this position is really gonna benefit us in our overall pull-up strength and capacity, but then also as we move on to the kipping motion as well. Guys, so once we are done with our scap pull-ups, we're gonna then work the top portion of our pull-up. So Coach Wade's gonna get up on the box. He's gonna get his hands or palms facing him. He's gonna get in his chin-up grip. Now he's gonna try and get his chin over the bar. He's gonna try and hold this position for seven to eight seconds. Again, staying tight in the glutes and the quads, pointing the toes down, working in that tight, hollow position. After seven to eight seconds, he's gonna relax. We're gonna do that one more time for a total of two reps. He's gonna get back up, hold seven to eight seconds, staying nice and tight the entire time. 